Hello guys, Dinosaur here, bringing you another Pokemon Showdown moveset slash build. This time I'm doing a Bibero moveset, which is recommended by Ryan Suggs on one of my videos, so thank you for recommending that. So, going into this build, um, right off the bat, I knew that I wasn't going to have, or I thought that I wouldn't really have fun uh, making this, just because Bibero is just one of those Pokemon looking at its stats, is just not too exciting in any department. And I didn't think I'd have fun with him, but he is actually... I had so much fun playing with using him. I had so much fun having him on my team. Um, I, I like to keep in mind that testing him, I used them mostly in doubles, which I'll explain why later. But before we get into this, I just want to say uh, I plan on uploading this a long time ago, but I've, I've been sick lately uh, the past few days, so I just didn't feel like uploading at all. Uh, I was pretty much bedridden. I just strong headaches and stomach. Aches. So that's why I didn't do that. But anyway, let's get on this right away. So items going off with the leftovers. Um, as you guys probably know, leftovers means that he's going to be a more tanky set. But he actually will be able to deal large amounts of damage if you do it right. Um, abilities here. He actually has three really good abilities. Um, the one I prefer is simple. The Pokemon has its own stat boost and drops doubled as they happen. Uh, then we have unaware. This Pokemon ignores other Pokemon stat changes when taking or doing damage really good and then moody boosts a random step by two and lowers another step by one at the end of each turn these can all be really good the only one that um, is unpredictable is moody that's the only reason why i don't like it uh if something is unpredictable in a pokemon battle i usually don't like it uh, it usually leads to bad things so that's why i just chose with simple and simple pays simple pairs really well with stuff like curse if cursive it, Curse if ghost, else plus one attack, plus two defense, minus one speed. So with simple, this would be plus two attack, plus two defense, and minus two speed. So yes, you're minusing a lot of speed, but you're not that fast anyway, so you ain't going nowhere. Go over to Amnesia, boost to use a special defense by two, this would be four. So you're getting a four boost to special defense, plus a two boost to attack and a two boost to defense in two turns. The reason why I like him in doubles is so you can set this up with your other team somehow. If you can get away to set up your Bibero to just keep on using Curse, keep on using Amnesia, and then throw in something like Return, where you get Stab 102 power, like you're going to be dealing large amounts of damage and you're going to be like the tankiest one on the field. So if you can pull this off, it is one of the most satisfying things I've ever done, and that's saying a lot. Um, the other move I threw in here was Waterfall. 20% chance to flinch, which is good, but the reason why we have it is because it's a good stab physical move. So that's why I threw that in there. I'll go to the stats. Now, this is really weird. I rarely ever do this because this is, this is just so out of balance. Well, it's not out of balance. It's actually in balance, and that's why it's weird. We have 128 EVs in HP. 124 in attack, 128 in defense, 128 in special defense. So you're just you're just balanced. You're going for balance. Um, I didn't want to put anything into anywhere because let's say you max out. Um, let's say you max out defense and attack. If there's a special attack, special defense, a special attacker out there, you're gonna get shredded, and then you can't set up, and then that just ruins your day. So this way. Because you're boosting your attack and stuff anyway, you're going to be tanky, you're going to be dealing lots of damage, and that's what we're here for to hit him with the mad return. Another thing, if you are feeling a little more risky, you can go and use Skull Bash. Now, I don't, I don't like the move Skull Bash just because it's a two-turn move, and I typically don't like using those, but it boosts using defense by two on turn one and hits turn two. So you get a mad defense boost on turn one, and then... You follow up with a mad 130 power plus stab skull bash, and you're going to be dealing lots of damage real quick, uh, as long as they don't resist and stuff like that. But that is my Bibero moveset. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'd like to point out that I was using him in doubles, uh, so that probably did help me um, just a little bit having him set up and any and set up and stuff like that uh but if you can pull off a setup tell me about it in the comments down below and i'll be sure to check those out because it is a really satisfying thing um so thank you guys for watching this is the dana yoshi and i'll talk to you guys later